Hi there, welcome back to new CNC channel. After a long time, we discuss about programming, design, and ETC. Now, uh, I'm very excited because uh, I want to discuss about my passion that is networking. Using Microtik, we can manage uh, the network, especially for uh, LAN cable and wireless so uh, it's very advantage if we have small office or uh, I think it's related to our uh, job occupation and may this is just what you want to learning okay uh, for starting I'm using Microtik uh, RB1. I'm sorry, RB900 for one to ND. Okay, this is uh, the image. To starting, how to configure this new Microtik? We can just uh, Add LAN cable into your number two Ethernet here. Then connect this with uh, your laptop, for example, or your computer. This is uh, your laptop, for example, and your Ethernet from this uh, Ether2 in Microtik. You just put in your LAN port in your laptop or your computer. Now, after that, we can just uh, configure. I have Winbox here. You can see there. This is uh, brings by default is Microtik configuration. If we just uh, connect, we will see this MAC address, IP address, and identity, version, and type of our router board. To login, you can just click in your MAC address. If you configure your IP address, you can on you can also login via IP address, but. Uh, as notice, you must uh, have same segment with this default to connect Microtik. For uh, easily, we can just connect to MAC address because uh, this MAC address is using layer 2. Using data link, uh, we, we don't need to configure our IP address. So we can just click this and admin as the default username to Microtik with blank password. We can just connect. Okay, this is our default configuration of Microtik. You can see there. Before we start configuration, I usually checking our package. In this uh, package list, we have version of Microtik OS is 6.40.4. You can see also your license. Your license is a level 4. So, uh, you have a maximum capacity half uh, 200 users hotspot uh, login okay uh, anything is important again is uh, you can just view resource your architecture name is uh, SMIPS and your board name is have light version your version is uh, 
is table okay uh, before we start configuration I just add time usually here and add CPU and add memory like this this is to monitor our uh, real time for memory and CPU usage okay I'm um, usually uh, if have configuration by default of microtik I just need to delete all configuration to raise that or reset configuration you can just uh, click in system menu just choose reset configuration of your microtik okay because I don't want to have a default micro configuration I check no default configuration in here and then if you have a configuration that uh, important you can just uh, keep user configuration but because uh, we just started to uh, configure microtik from start I suggest you choose no default configuration and then reset configuration I click yes okay uh, need some time before uh, our microtik have uh, reboot you can see there after we reset configuration the router is uh, disconnected because the system of or this OS or the OS is uh, shut down and start again with new configuration but without default configuration okay uh, let's wait usually the microtik if start again the lamp indicator or the microtik is uh, out uh, the beep in the router board you can see there after microtik is up again you can see the IP address become 0, 0.0.0, .0. and we can just log in again in using make address. Okay, uh, I think uh, we start uh, until here, and in the next step, how we can add IP address. I want to explain in the next video so uh, just sus subscribe this channel and I will uh, show how to manage your network using microtik in start until uh, advanced thanks for watching